What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about a very interesting potential update to Gotham Knights. Now, at this point, this is just not confirmed. Uh, it seems pretty likely. I know there's some people thinking that it's fake. That's okay if you think that. I have, I have nothing against that, but it seems like it's real, and that's that the PlayStation uh, description of Gotham Knights has been changed. Now, I guess not the actual description of Batman is dead, a new expansive criminal underworld. Not that. When you go into the middle box and it has the publisher, Warner Bros. Interactive, release date coming soon. Now, that's still very funny to me because it has a release date in October 25th, and yet nowhere, not GameStop, not Xbox, not PlayStation, not any, none of them actually have the release date still up, I believe, which is pretty pathetic if you actually think about it. But, at the bottom there, they added this. PS Plus required for online play. That's very common. Supports up to four online players with PlayStation Plus. And then it's got, you know, one player single player or uh, four network players. Now, the thing, and I guess the reason why this is so gigantic, is this game was only confirmed for two players. Now, I guess not everybody knew this, and that's okay, but I want to, you know, catch everybody up. So remember, this was going to be, and I, this is kind of like my opening pitch for this game just in general. This is the game that you can play by yourself or you can play you and somebody else you play it online and you can play as you know one of the four now you can repeat right so you can play as Batgirl somebody else can play as Batgirl now that was the original that was what they originally said now I don't know if maybe that's changed that has always been something I've had a big problem on uh, I've talked about that at length on the channel I don't like that you can play as the same character and then when you go to Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League that was kind of the opposite right that game I guess more in line with the Avengers if you want to say that but that game is four players and are up to four players I should say and you can play single player on Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League but if you play single player you're the one person you choose and the other three are AI the other three are AI, or you can play it online and the you know other people will populate those other three characters. And you can't repeat, so you can't have two Harley. So that was always the difference. These two games were different in that way. Obviously, there's going to be other things that make it different. But I wonder, you know, again, people are saying maybe this is fake. I mean, I, I don't doubt that it's fake, but I also don't doubt that it's real. You know, like it could go either way. I think this makes sense in terms of when they first announced it can only be two players, I think people generally were kind of like, what? <laughs> because there's four of them. Uh, you know, I, I think it's fine. I, I don't think four players to two players or two players to four players. I don't think those are make or break things. But I do think people would generally be more happy with this. Now, again, how does this impact everything? How does this impact the story? Again, can you play... <laughs> okay, going with my thing that I've always hated about this game. Can you do four Red Hoods? Can four different people play Red Hoods? Or when they're now changing it to, you know, supports up to four players, are they saying now, you know, you can only play one of each of them? I, I feel like you're still going to be able to, because if you were able to for two players, what's stopping you from doing it, you know, as four players, right? But uh, that would, again, to me, that's like immersion breaking, that's world breaking, but that's just my uh, opinion that I like to push too often. I'm sorry about that. But no, I mean, it is obviously massive so we'll have to see i honestly imagine well i imagine two things number one that we're going to get this game's uh like new info relatively soon hopefully it's summer game fest right we talked about that last week and then number two this could be to be honest with you if there was ever a good reason to have the game be delayed as many times as this game seemingly has and kind of the uncertainty around it and all that stuff to add players like to go from two players to four players that very well could have been the reason why this game you know they thought okay well maybe we can do this in early 2021 and then they're like well you know we saw some feedback can we can we up it to four players and they said well yeah we probably could but it would take time i mean i i really think that's a valid you know i mean like maybe it's not uh the most necessary you know what i mean like maybe they didn't need to do it and we could have gotten this game like a year earlier but i would accept that as a re if they said hey here's why the game was delayed a year is because we we looked at the feedback we wanted to fix this 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 but the big thing we wanted to do was move it from two players to four players i would buy that that reasoning you know what i mean so let me know what you guys think in the comments make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel bell icon turned on so you know when all these videos go up if you want to follow me anywhere else all my social media is in the description below thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you all on the next video